welcome to episode eight of Art Books Tea. Today we're going to be going over Hunting Prince Dracula, Carrie Meniscalco's second book. I did her first one last week. Figured we'd just keep going right along with her. I'm going to be talking about English breakfast tea, one of my favorites. I say that every week, I'm sorry. And then look into my art world where we talk about my new painting course. Diving right in. Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco is, like I said, the second book of her series. These books are sort of standalone, but also go well in a series. So each one has their own unique story. In this particular story, our heroine, Audrey Rose Wadworth, from the first book, is now in Castle Dracula. They're studying an autopsy program, which at the time period that she's in, all of the um, male people in this autopsy program, because females weren't really allowed, they are not happy about this, and people are dying. Bum, bum, bum. It's uh, not as good as the first book. I'm sorry, I don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings, Carrie. But I feel like she focuses a little bit too much on the emotions that Audrey is going through and a lot less on the plot and action in this book. So it was harder for me to get through. So, unfortunately for her second book, as cool as the cover art looks and as awesome as it sounds with the title like Hunting Prince Dracula, I have to only give it two out of five pickles this time. That's the first really low grade I've had to give and it, it, it hurts my heart and I don't like doing it. It doesn't feel nice, but that's where we're at. Next up, English breakfast tea. This is an excellent morning wake up tea. It has a really great flavor that goes well with milk and honey. It's an easy tea to drink. It's medium bodied and the steep time all depends on how much caffeine you want in your morning routine. Um, tea has a different sort of caffeine. It takes you up nice and slow and levels off um, as opposed to coffee that like is like whoosh, whoosh, super fast up, super big crash, which is why I don't drink coffee anymore. There are decaf options for <clears throat> English breakfast. And I just really love this tea. And as usual, Harney and Sons has an excellent uh, option for you. They come in super cute tins or sachets, or they just, they have tons of options for each of their teas. So um, go check them out at Harney and Sons. The link is in my Instagram bio. Moving on to art. This is, I am super excited to talk about this. Let me just start with that. And I need another drink. Art this week is exciting for me. I am starting to create a painting course that I am calling Soul Painting. It is called this because I have gathered all of this information based on my personal art journey and I'm putting it into this course. I'm making this course for me three years ago, basically. <laughs> uh, three years ago, I was super lost in art. I didn't know where to start. <clears throat> I was not that great of a painter yet, um, but I knew I loved to paint and I was just like constantly searching on Pinterest and online for all of these art courses and I just could not find anything that resonated with me. So I just like had to self teach and it was super hard. There was so much information to filter through. Every artist had their own opinions that um, were specific to them. And so I am putting together this course and offering this for somebody like me three years ago who wants to connect with the art that's deep inside of you and also needs a lot of 
um, technical information. <clears throat> so I'm blending the technical and logical and practical with the spiritual and deep soul connection. Um, a lot of times as artists, we tend to shy away from that deep kind of art because it's very personal and it's scary to show the world that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, that's the most beautiful art that you'll ever create is the stuff that comes from deep in here. And I truly believe that every single person who has any sort of inclination to create art is an artist waiting to blossom and show their light with the world. And the world needs that, especially now. It doesn't seem like art or paintings can change the world in any sort of way, but truly it does. The beauty and a lot of times the meaning behind the art is what changes people. It, it, it brings light and happiness into their life. And I want to teach every single artist or every single person who wants to become an artist or every single person who just wants to paint because it's fun, I wanna teach all of you how to get to that place. So I have a pre-order up on my website right now, pickleheadpaints.com. I have the entire course option to buy or I have broken down all of my little modules into 10 different modules that you can buy piecemeal if you want to put together your own course. Say you already know all about how to draw on a canvas, then you don't need that. You can go get the other modules that do something for you. I've broken it up like that for the person who doesn't need all of the lessons, but for the person who does, you have one course and right now because it's not fully made yet this course and I just want to see you know who really wants to do this it's all on 50% off sale right now that's going to end as soon as I launch this so on October 17th that is my launch date it's a date that means something to me 17 is a number that's very personal to me and I've chosen that because it just feels right <laughs> so on October 17th, it all goes live, it all goes up to normal price. And right now it's half off. Please go get it while you can because I think that this is going to be something that's uh, really helpful for artists. I appreciate you. Go visit my website. I hope you have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you next week.